Hello you guys, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I am back with a reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus, North Node, or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video if it resonates, comment down below if you felt the vibe, and subscribe. And if this reading will resonate today, then the next time. Let's see what spirit has for you. Um, Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Important messages for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. Important messages for the sign of Aquarius, Holy Spirit. So we got the Eight of Cups, King of Coins in Reverse. This is already beautiful. The Lovers, the Will of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords in Reverse. Um, this is somebody else's loss. I don't know if you walked away from somebody, whether this was recently or in the past, but it really has paved the path for you because this could have been somebody who you were settling for in the past and this person could have been very lazy. They was very money driven. Um, they were very full of themselves. They, they weren't really a provider. They were very selfish, but like they wanted to be like this big person in your life or they wanted to have like a major position in your life, but they were very self-centered. And you walking away from them is aligning you with a lover. And I feel like this is really all going to turn in your favor. Because I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of good news, a lot of support. Um, you're going to start making a lot more friends. You could have been dealing with somebody who was also very controlling. So this could have been a situation where it's like, you're being free of that. Like some of y'all, you may have not noticed how much you were suffering in a situation how much somebody was limiting your beliefs, limiting your mindset, limiting your lifestyle, just limiting you. And a lot of y'all, y'all about to start seeing life on the other side, like of being with this person. I think I tapped in this energy a while back where it's like you could have been so head over heels for somebody or so involved in a relationship that you may have not realized how much suffering it actually caused you. And because of that, it's like, Y'all about to start seeing life from a different perspective. And I'm smiling because I don't know. It feels like this energy of like getting back to knowing yourself again, like knowing what you like. Like some of y'all, you could have got with somebody and it's like y'all ever dated somebody. And this is like this might I don't know. But y'all ever met somebody and you're like, they are not my type, but you gave them a chance anyway. And it's like they, they kind of grew on you. Some of y'all could have dealt with that. Like, maybe somebody was not really your type, but you was like, I'm going to just see where it go. I'm going to just give it a chance. And then they tried to, like, do you in. And it was kind of like, you was just like, I don't know, You maybe you just caught feelings for them and you just couldn't let go. I don't know, but a lot of y'all, you were out of somebody's league. Like, you was, like, really taking one for the team. I don't know. Because the king of coins is in reverse, which makes me feel like you could have just been taking one for the team. And you look back and you're like, why was I, what type of love spell was I under? Like, you know, but I definitely feel like you're going to start seeing a different part of life. Like, you're going to start seeing things from a place where it's going to feel like, whatever I've been missing like I've been missing out or you've been giving yourself the shorthand of the stick because you know of course you could have had haters in your life who try to block you from finding love y'all ever know y'all know those people where you know you go out with them and you're mingling and they want to interfere on everybody and they want to be all up in your business and you be like damn you know and cock blocking and all that stuff but a lot of y'all are really about to find a really beautiful relationship. And I feel like some of y'all, you're going to start making friends too. Like, y'all just going to be a whole vibe. Somebody is suffering though. 
Yeah, they're suffering because they look at you as their other half. Look, look at that. Whoever this king of coins is in reverse, they see you as their other half. But I feel like they were causing suffering. Like I feel like this is somebody here. I don't know if you have children with them. I feel like this is somebody here where they ruined it for themselves. Like the, you can't, this person can't sit here and say, yeah, they view you as the empress. But this person can't sit here and say like, oh, it was because of ABC. Like you probably had some things about yourself that you had to change too. Where it's probably, you know, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes and, you know. But I feel like this person could have brought the worst out of you. And a lot of y'all think back to, like, why was I like that? And I feel like you're finally free with the Eight of Cups. Like, the Eight of Cups is the first card out, which lets me know, like, you're free. You're happy. You're like, yes, thank you. I got away from that. But, like, it's starting to give you realizations of, like, I truly, really, like, gave myself the short end of the stick. Like, I... I I should have left a long time ago or I really deserve better or I really was settling for less than I deserve. And yeah, this person sees you as their other half, but they were like, I feel like they were very slow to give you anything. Like this person could have been slow to work or if they were working, they were like very like, they didn't really take you out anywhere. They didn't really do spontaneous things with you. Like they didn't really feed your intellect. They could have been very materialistic. So they felt like if they just gave you nice things or like they felt like if y'all had like, you know, the simple things in life, like which the simple things in life matter to me. I'm not gonna lie. But they just felt like they didn't have to put any effort into the relationship. They're like, oh, well, you should be okay with just the bare minimum. It's like, no. Fuck. Like, I'm sorry, but like, like, you gotta think about like, do I give you the bare minimum? Like, do I look like a bare minimum ass? Like, I be feeling like that. Like, do I look like a bare minimum ass person to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you really gotta like check people because people really will try to play you. And you be like, do I look like a bare minimum type of person? Because people will say, I always tell my children, and I always use them as an example because I really, I have three sons, y'all. So I'll be having to, you know, and since I am a single mother now, I have to really instill these things in my children just because they don't have a masculine figure in their life right now. And because of that, um, I have to like, let them know, like, you cannot do the bare minimum. Like I'll tell them, make your bed and they'll make their bed. But then I go in there and it looks like they just threw the sheets on there. And you'd be like, I know you can do better than this like their children so i can't expect them to be like perfectionists but when i look at them i'm like this is the bare minimum this is you literally slapping the covers on there and calling it a made bed get in there and straighten that up some more okay because that type of energy you have to teach them young because if they think that they could just come in there and use the bathroom and just leave it any type of way and you're like okay because my kids will walk away won't flush the toilet and of course they're learning but you have to be like you have to instill it and like no you have to put the toilet seat down flush the toilet and wipe after yourself because that means you care about the next person who comes in here to use the bathroom okay so i feel like you just have to like let people know like a lot of people y'all will be amazed like it be disrespect because it could be a situation where it's like, just respect this and, and, and that's that. But when you got somebody who just just blatantly does not give a damn and you be like, and they really expect for you to just accept that. And you're like, no, this is crazy. Like some of y'all, you may think about that. Like I was really dealing with some shit that I would have never dealt with today. <laughs> and I feel like that. I feel like somebody was expecting you to just be like, oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. I know that. I know you've been through some stuff in your life. And I understand, you know, there's a reason why you are the way that you are. But, like, somebody wasn't even trying to get it right. Somebody wasn't even trying to do right. This is the king of coins in reverse. It's, like, lazy. Like, they were just, like, a lazy partner. A lousy partner. But they wanted you to do all the magical tricks in bed. Like, uh-uh. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yeah, the six of coins. I'm telling you. I feel like a lot of y'all, you're walking away from it. I feel like you had to like, is this giving me back to the kids? It's like, 
I'm not your mother or I'm not your father. I'm not going to tell you to get dressed every day. Like when it's common sense, we're going to a business meeting or we're going out to go meet friends. And like, you look like you haven't like, I'm so sorry. Like people would try to say like, look, so bad, but let's be real professionalism. Like you're not going to go outside, just look at any type of way. And when you are in a relationship, you want to make sure that you present, represent your partner just as well as you want them to represent you. So you can be dealing with somebody who just did not care. Like, I don't have to get dressed or I don't have to, I don't have to shave or, you know, like, let's be real. Like, I'm sorry. Like, we could sit here and try to like say like, they should just accept me how I am. They are accept you how you are, but let's be real. You be like looking crazy, walking out the house any type of way. That does not accept you how you are. Cause you was not like, <laughs> it's not, you wasn't like that when I met you. Don't start doing that when we together. Okay. Now let's be real. Us mommies. We have children, we go through our postpartum, we go through our emotions, and we, you know, we may gain some weight, we may lose a lot of weight, we may be stressed out, looking stressed. But I feel like a lot of y'all, you looking blessed these days, even if you are a parent, because it's the fact that you're like, I'm not, like, I'm not about to do that. Some of y'all, you probably took on, took on some of the characteristics where you started, you know, getting lazy, gaining a lot of weight, not really caring, you know, just being really in this homebody energy like they all say oh you're a homebody but like literally being a home a couch potato like you guys could have definitely had a glow up and I, I I'm, I'm here for it because I feel like y'all like what, what the hell was I thinking and you're coming back into remembrance of who you are okay because y'all could have been taking care of somebody and it was just it was just not the best for you yeah we got the six of swords in reverse with this person yeah, I feel like they didn't really care to take any of your advice. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting you could have tried to warn them. You could have tried to give them some advice. Because I feel like maybe you even try to make this person aware of, like, their behavior. Like, you could have told them, like, hey, like, this is getting out of control. Or, like, you're, like, letting yourself go. Or you don't care. I don't know. I feel like you're in an energy where you're, like, you could have tried to get this person to, like, see themselves. I feel like they wasn't seeing, like, that they had a problem. And let's be real, if this is a masculine energy, I'm not going to say this about all men because I know all men aren't like this. But if this is a masculine energy, a lot of masculines can believe like only the women, the only the woman needs to look good. And you're like, so I got to stay fit. I got to make sure I look good every time we walk out this house. But you ain't shaved in 80 days. You ain't took a shower in four or five days. You ain't got it together. You walking out here missing a sock. Your knees is ashy. And you want me to be okay with this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be okay with this because I'm the woman. Oh, no. You know? And I feel like a lot of you guys are like, yeah, no. This ain't going to work for me. And I'm telling you. Look at this. Five of coins, queen of wands. You're like, get your ass out of here. They feel left out by you. It's crazy because I feel like this is what was happening. I feel like you were very attractive. And this is who you had on the side of you. And I'm not trying to talk about this person. But like, no, for real. It's like, how can you be out here killing it? Confident. Rolling out here doing your thing. Taking charge of your life. Being very creative, spontaneous. And then you got somebody on the side of you who's, who's the five of coins. And we're not just talking about money here. We're talking about attitude. We're talking about confidence. Like, this person could have been very insecure, too. Like, a lot of y'all, you probably tried to, like, help this person see their worth. For some of y'all, I feel like that's why you gave them a chance. I'm so sorry, but I feel like some of y'all, you could have seen somebody, you're like, I could do a lot with you, you know, because confidence gives people a lot of, a long, confidence to take a person a long way. Because have you ever seen somebody shoot their shot at you and you're like, wow, there's a lot of people around you who are so afraid to come up to me, but you came up to me with confidence that you can get my number. And it will it will make you want to be with them. Like, oh my gosh, I like to be somebody who really knows what they want. And I feel like some of y'all, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. You were like, I could really do something with you. And some of y'all, they friends and family could have been looking at them with a the side eye. Like, how did you get this person? And I feel like this person's like, they were in disbelief that they got you too. But I'm getting, once they got you, it's like, you started seeing this person's true colors. Like, oh no. <laughs> They're five of coins. Like, I feel like as well, you could have been dealing with somebody who's very thirsty. 
like they could have been thirsty for the attention of other women or thirsty of the attention of other men, but they got a whole fucking dime piece. You know what I'm saying? Like they got a whole beautiful ass empress in their face or a, a, a emperor in their home, a provider, but they're thirsty for other people's attention. They could even say this about you. Like you were thirsty for other people's attention when in reality, you're like, no, I'm just too fine to be dealing with this like i'm so sorry but like, this has a lot to do with like your confidence like a lot of you guys are very confident but you could have lost yourself in this person and they could have lost you in this in this situation that's what i'm getting i'm getting you could have got comfortable you could have had children with this person like but like they kind of forgot they didn't they started to not see the beauty in you and i feel like a lot of y'all you just started like i don't know you started picking up i don't know if you picked up their characteristics or like they just didn't see you anymore. They're like they saw you and they were like, oh, okay, I know I got you. You're my wife or you're my partner. Or oh, okay, we've been together for years, but look at this beautiful dime walking past me. Like maybe they were into younger women or younger men. I don't know. But I definitely feel like this person is realizing now, like, damn, they was being thirsty. Cause I feel like they're realizing they're looking at you and now they're thirsty over you. So yeah, if you cut this person off, yeah, they're thirsting over you now because you glue up or they can see your worth again. Like, I, I cannot stand that. It happens a lot in today's relationships. You get with a person, you love them, you be with them so many years, and then they start to, like, devalue you. Like, oh, okay, well, I don't really see you. And they're lusting over people online or whatever the case is. And then, like, when you leave and you walk away, they're, like, chasing after you again. Like, get out of here. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Like, somebody wants, like, a new passionate beginning with you. Like, somebody, this is like your ex you cut off or y'all got divorced and they still want to sleep with you. It's like, they're like, damn, you so fine. It's like, I was fine then, though. Like, it's weird. It's like a weird complex here. Like, I feel like somebody here from your past still wants to sleep with you, get with you, because you so out of this world attractive, but they didn't appreciate you when you was there. It's like you was giving somebody all of that when y'all was together. But like when y'all left, it's like, damn, I don't realize what I had. Hold on, let me blow my nose, y'all. Sorry, this new phone, I can't, I can't pause it. So sorry. what I was saying. I'm trying to get this piece to stay down. Okay. Forget it. Um, yeah. Yeah, Sun Car, like they, they, woo, they are attracted to you, honey. And I feel like with the sun, you're very, you're very like vibrant too. Like, yeah, you're getting a lot of attention. A lot of people want to, oh, look at this. Oh, a lot of people, uh, you know what I'm getting? I feel like somebody like, I don't know, like you walking in a store and like somebody rolling up in like a big spinner and them like trying to do some room room while you walk by. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people are going to be showing out for you, honey. Look at this. Look at that. Y'all gonna have people trying to like claim territory over you. Like they gonna swear like they gonna swear you theirs. Like y'all gonna have people trying to claim you. Like y'all gonna have people very territorial. Like somebody gonna be like, I seen them first or I seen them first. Like get away, back up. Like y'all gonna have people trying to like intercede. Like, inter like they're gonna try to interfere. Like no, no, I seen, I seen Aquarius first. Like Oh, I don't know what y'all doing. I don't know what y'all doing. I don't know what y'all doing to these people. <laughs> I feel like you're just at peace. Like, you're just very peaceful. You can be very quiet, very sweet. And people are like, no, we got to protect them at all costs. Look, the devil is in 
first yeah you're and it fell over there which lets me know like you are done with that toxic shit <laughs> you are done with the toxic shit and some of y'all you are not with that stuff you are done with the the obsessive abusive controlling manipulative energy you're like eh, eh. i feel like a lot of you guys with the devil as well like you could be somebody where it's like you're not very materialistic like you're like I'm done with the shallow mindsets. Like people who come to you with shallow mentalities, like they feel like they got to impress you. Like I said, with the big spinners, like I feel like you got people trying to pull up and like stunt because they want you to see how fly they is and they want you to look at them, you know, but like it goes back to what they were saying about the birds, like how the birds try to get the women, but they like do a bunch of like flapping and they want you to see their beautiful wings and stuff because they want to get the women. But you don't see a bird rolling up with a gold chain on. Like, <laughs> let's be fucking for real. So, a lot of people feel like they got to impress you with the top notch. They got to come in with the flyest outfit. They got to come in with the big spinners because they can't get you unless they look fly. Or unless they got money. And I feel like a lot of y'all, you're like, no. That's really not. That's like, I feel like that could have been why you left your ex. It's like, I'm not with the shallowness. Like, if you can't come to me with more debt. I'm not going to connect with you. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just looking for a deeper connection. A lot of you guys could just could be very attractive right now. Or you're going through a glow up. Maybe you lost some weight. Maybe you gained a little bit of weight. You know, you gained a little bit of booty. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I feel like a lot of you guys are like, yeah, it's like you feel attractive. I feel like it's like a, I feel good. I feel good. And I feel like it's going to like some of y'all, you're going to start getting compliments from the universe. Like you're going to start getting cop. Like things are going to start like. You're, it's going to start confirming how you feel. Like, you're going to be, like, sitting there. And maybe you may feel like, I don't I don't feel attractive. But then somebody come in, they like, so I just want to know. You're like, well, damn, I didn't think I was looking good today. But I sure was getting a lot of attention. I feel like you're going to start getting, like, confirmation from spirit that, like, you really do look good. Rather you know this or not, like, you look good, you gonna start getting confirmations. I'm telling you, you gonna start getting confirmations. People just gonna start coming up to you like, damn, you smell good. You're like, oh, I thought it was cheap, but thank you. You're gonna be like, what, what have you been doing? You glowing lately. They're like, oh, really? <laughs> okay. Like, you gonna start getting confirmations. I'm telling you, look at that. You're gonna start receiving a lot of love. And people gonna be like, damn, baby. Where you been at all my life? Look, shaman, I feel like you're very powerful. You're very powerful and you're attracting this yet. All eyes on you. All eyes on you. People want to court you. Look at that. Empress, all eyes on you. People want to court. I'm telling you, didn't I tell you they're going to roll up on you with them big spinners? People want to buy their best. People want to be their best when they come up in your life. People feel like they got to get shit in order before they come up in your life. People feel like they can't approach you unless they got it together. Which a lot of y'all is a good thing because you still want people to present themselves. Like, let's be real. Who don't want nobody who's going to be a provider? Like, wait, I'm not telling you to be like, you're like the type of person where you like, I don't care if you don't know. Some of y'all, you like, yeah, you got to have your shit together. <laughs> but I feel like people are like, yeah, we got to have our shit together. Like, we cannot approach this person half assing. We got to come to them with everything in alignment. But I feel like those people who come to you and they feel like that's everything, like, they feel like they could get in your pants if they got, like, the nicest shit. You're like, uh, next. Uh, but the people who really come to you and it looks like they're really looking for something more meaningful. And you're like, yeah, I like you. And you got your shit together. That's a plus. Okay. You know, you know, you know. Okay. Look, we have a death. We have make a choice of death. Yeah. Some of y'all, you might have made a choice to end this situation for good. Yeah, you're making a choice to leave or end this for, ooh, yeah. We have this person is doing black magic to cause custody issues, STD warning, new opportunity. Yeah, your ex is big mad. Uh, they're definitely, um, I don't know, take what resonate, but if they're not actually doing black magic on you, they're just speaking ill over your life. They're wishing that you catch STDs. This person could be dealing with an STD. But they're like wishing ill on your life. They're wishing ill. They're hoping you catch STDs. They're hoping you lose your children if you have any. Um, especially if you're going through like a court situation. This person is really wishing bad on you. But I feel like it's because you have opportunities here. 
they're not a part of your life. They're just looking for any reason to say something about you. They're telling people things about you. Yeah, because you stood up to this person. So they're just spreading rumors about you. They're mad. They're big mad. Uh -huh. Yeah, time is running out. LGBTQ. So I don't know if you're a part of the LGBTQ or this person is about to get exposed for being undercover gay, um, lesbian, whatever the case is. Yep. And this person with the thief independent here independent thief that's what they were trying to steal they were trying to steal your independence yeah you could have been dealing with somebody here who didn't want you to have your own be blessed have money be successful they wanted you to be a couch potato gain a lot of weight so they can manipulate you use you abuse you and a lot of y'all you're like hell to the law i'm about to give my my sexy back i'm about to get on my bag whatever y'all do you know you're like i'm about to do my own damn thing i don't care i'm not about to let you stop. i feel like that's what they were trying to steal from you they were trying to steal your independence they're trying to make sure, like, you didn't have your own shit so, like, people don't see you as, like, you know, because, like I said, we, I'm, I'm not the type of reader where every, a lot of the things I put in my readings are metaphors, y'all. I'm not the type of person where I'm telling you, like, oh, go live under a couch or, or go live on somebody's couch and you should be okay with being broke because whatever. No, I'm saying that you don't have, that's not your value. That's what my whole part of readings is. That doesn't make you who you are. What I'm trying to get you to understand is you could be somebody where you like to have the finer thing, but it doesn't make you who you are. And I feel like you could have been dealing with somebody where, like, they could have told you, like, no, let's live under a bridge. Or I don't know what they did. I feel like they were showing you signs that, like, y'all was going to go downhill if you kept fucking with them. So you let them go. I feel like while you were with them, they were trying to strip you of your independence. So, like, you didn't have your own shit. You didn't look the best. You didn't feel the best. And because of that, you're like, you're gone. I'm gone next. But... Yeah, you were protecting yourself from this person. Yeah, you blocked this person. They was trying to block you. So some of y'all, you blocked them out of your life. You're like, goodbye. Yeah, because you got royal DNA, okay? You're realizing that. You're like, I do like the finer things. Yeah, you were following the signs. You could even be having dreams about this person. You're following the signs. This could be a younger man or a younger woman. Says, not the right time. What's this Holy Spirit? Follow the signs about a younger man, younger woman, not the right time. Spiritual hater, collaboration, yeah. So some of y'all with the collaboration, spiritual hater, um, you could be dealing with a younger man or a younger woman who can also hate the fact that you are spiritual. It says your child needs you. I'm also getting as well. They, they may not like your child either. If you have a child, we have influence. Yeah, they could be influencing your child in a negative way. So maybe you have a younger child, maybe they're a little older, but they're not too young, but they're a little older. They may be collaborating or influencing this person. I was getting that a couple of readings back. So I don't know if you're going through like a custody issue with your ex, but I definitely feel like you could be having like, I don't know if you have a teenager, a preteen, or just a little bit of an older child who this person could definitely be influencing negatively. Like they could be trying to tell them like, that your spiritual stuff is not good or something like that, or you need to stop. Yeah, we have parent, mother. So this could be their grand, your grandmother or their grandmother, their grandfather, or your mother, your father. What's this? Opportunist, yeah. So yeah, somebody here is an opportunist. This could be your mother, your father, or this person is collaborating with a mother figure, a father figure to get the children. Okay, so... This is just, yeah, you're dealing with a deadbeat. I feel like you got people who working in cahoots, of course. They're, they're collaborating to try to cause, like, if you have older children, like I said, to turn them against you. If they still if they still go to their grandmother's house, father house, mother house, whoever it is that is into this negative energy, mad because you've lost it, looking good, living your life. Like, I feel like they're going to cause all these custody issues. It has nothing to, some of y'all, this is confirmation for you. It has nothing to do with the children. Somebody is mad you living your life. Somebody is mad that you glowing up, looking good, and you're moving on. And they're about to cause all these issues with the children. So if you have children with them, just know that's all that. That's why they're doing this. They may say it's a thousand reasons, but I feel like some of y'all they wasn't really steady in the child's life before. Now all of a sudden they want all this this information. Like I'm getting that King of Coins in reverse. Getting somebody who's very lazy too, or somebody did the bare minimum. Maybe they sent a few dollars here and there, but I feel like with the King of Coins reverse, they were greedy. So they they barely sent money if they did. Like people know children are expensive. So I feel like somebody tried to like give you like a few hundred dollars a, a, a month or something. And I'm getting here like, okay, well, I'll do what I can with this. Maybe you get child support from them. I don't know. But I feel like somebody here now wants to come in and 
get their family all involved and tell you how you supposed to do shit. And I'm getting you like, yeah, sibling. What about the sibling poverty, homelessness, not knowing your word, creative blocks and confrontation. Yeah, my skin as well. I always get this reading uh, in a reading about a, a hating ass sibling y'all got who could be in poverty, homelessness, struggling. They want they gonna want to fight with you, have an argument with you, have beef with you because. They don't know they worth. They're having creative blocks. So somebody's mad because you know your worth. You stop settling for less than you deserve. So you got a hating ass sibling or a family member or a friend or somebody here who's close to you who's mad because they still settling for less than they deserve. They view you as a great parent. Somebody's, yeah, envy. I'm telling you, you got envious people around you showing fake love, copying you, out for themselves, mad because y'all doing your thing. Some of y'all, it's because you, you have confidence now. Yes, you're dealing with predators. Don't trust them. Be careful because you could even have a fake friend. Like, just be mindful of people around you. Yes, because the luck is in your favor. I'm telling you, I will afford you. Some, some shit, your energy is dope too. I don't know. I feel like you guys are vibrating very high now because you cut somebody off. Now that you, yes, it says keep your boundaries. As soon as I pick up the deck, whoever you cut off, like, good for you. Because I feel like, look, as soon as I cut it, you deserve respect. Keep your boundaries. You deserve respect. If a motherfucker can't respect you, check them. Uh -uh. Stay your ass over there. I'm getting people didn't respect you when you was going through shit or when you was trying to find yourself. Oh, my baby waking up. Yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. Choose happiness. Choose happiness, y'all. Aging is beautiful. Let me get one more. Make a routine of doing affirmations because affirmations build your confidence. Join a support group. Be around people who support you because you don't owe them anything. I'm done. Like this video for resonate. Comment down below for the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.